Hi, I'm Robbie Bola with Jason Munns. Heading into your senior year, what are your expectations here for your final season? My expectation is to have a winning season, to uh, go out and and you know reach our goals and to just make a memorable time for everybody. Brandon Doman had been the quarterbacks coach for not only your whole career, but most of the last several years. In fact, the new quarterback coach, Jason Beck, also played under him. From this first day that you've seen in the spring and from meeting Jason, what do you notice that's maybe going to be different? Um, I knew Jason Beck uh, my freshman year. He was a GA before he, uh, he took off um, on his different jobs, but I think they're very different. That's one thing, obviously, having been coached by Brandon Doman for four years, you get used to a certain way, and I was kind of expecting um, Jason to have some similarities, but really he does his own thing. Um, he has his own method and his own his own coaching abilities, and I really like it. I think it's, it's for the better. I think uh, it's just... It's nice to get some new, you know, viewpoints, and it's, he's just a great guy. Is there anything specific you can pinpoint, like an example of maybe how he's different? Um, I mean, they're just different people. Personalities are different. Um, mentalities are different. Both, both, you know, upstanding people. But he would, he's a little um, calmer. I feel he, he doesn't get quite as riled up. He just kind of has a calm presence, and and that that's a good thing I think as a quarterback coach. He kind of permeates throughout the rest of us. Is it very different having a quarterback coach now that is not the offensive coordinator on top of that? Is he able to devote more time to the quarterbacks? Um, yeah, I would. it is. Obviously, he doesn't have quite as much on his plate, and it, it's nice to be able to um, have someone focus just directly on, on your position and, and um, get, getting you better, and, and uh, I think he'll do a phenomenal job at that, and we're excited to have him. Robert and I is back now as the offensive coordinator. I'm trying to remember how this worked out with your mission, but your freshman year he was the offensive coordinator. Is that right? Yeah, he, he recruited me. He sat in my living room, and uh, and so I'm very, very familiar with Coach and I. Um, when I found out he was coming back, I was excited. Uh, I you know, found that why it's the same. Coach and I, it's different. He's come back after these last two years with a different mentality. Um, he's got different ideas and schemes, and I, I think it's going to make us a better team. Going here in the first day of, of spring ball, Riley Nelson has graduated. They've said everybody on offense comes in with a clean slate. How are you approaching this? Are you approaching this as it's Taysom's job to lose or it's anybody has a chance as good as anybody? You know, I, I just try to worry about um, about me, about Jason, and and I hope and everybody, every one of us hopes for a, a equal opportunity, that there's no decisions predetermined, that we're all on equal ground competing. And I think that's the way it should be, and I think that's the way everyone wants it to be. And so, um, you know, I'm going to go out every day and, like I said, try to um, compete as if I'm the starter and try to um, get my level of play to, to be qualified as a starter. And then from that point, there's nothing else I can do. Jason Beck, when he played, was behind John Beck. Yeah. He was a very good quarterback, got his one start there against Utah, Utah State, State when they won 38 nothing. But he never really got his chance to shine because of John Beck. So do you think that helps that he understands that only one guy can play, but everybody is going to be very good quarterbacks? And do you think he wants then to give everybody that chance because of maybe his experience playing behind John? You know, he definitely lived through that experience of being extremely capable, but never quite getting his opportunity. Um, and so, yeah, we, I would assume that uh, he would give us all chances. And today we saw that. Um, in the past, usually you didn't see the the brand new incoming freshman and, and redshirt freshman getting team reps and today they did so he's yeah, he's he's getting everyone some shots and like I said we just we hope it stays that way and that everyone gets the opportunity to compete. Every quarterback is different. How are you unique for this group of BYU quarterbacks? What do you bring to the table? Like you said everyone's different and uh, when you bring these different skill sets into one offense I think everyone can offer something different. Um, I would hope to be able to bring a, a certain leadership um, after having been here for a while, um, a certain grit and toughness to it that I feel feel we need. And then, um, you know, I, I believe that I, I am capable of executing the things they ask us to do. So whatever those things are that I'm asked, I, I feel capable and confident I can do so. You, what, what do you feel your role is? Because you haven't been in that spot where you're a starting quarterback, but I remember just a couple years ago being in this similar situation, interviewing Riley Nelson when it was just us, nobody else wanted to talk to him, and then he ended up becoming the starter. How has it groomed you the last few years with your experience? <clears throat> yeah, you know, the last few years I just kind of hung out in the background, but it's definitely taught me to be hungry, and, and now that opportunities are, are being presented, um, like I said, I'm going to go out and just worry about 
playing as well as I can and doing what I can to improve my game so that it improves the team. I think once you get caught up in worrying about the depth chart and what the coaches are thinking, then that's when you start straying from the most important thing, and that's playing your best to help the team the most you can. Okay, thanks, Jason. Yeah.